Salim Dostar. Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lesson of Kazakh language with Sana. And if you missed the previous class, please follow the link here. And um, we are going to talk about Nauriz this lesson. Actually, Nauriz, this is firstly, it's a month, it is called March. And also Nauriz, it's a huge celebration of Turkic nations, and um, which is widely celebrated in Kazakhstan, in all uh, bordering neighboring countries uh, with Kazakhstan. So, uh, and we'll talk about some Nauriz-ish things. And we will talk about Nauriz deeply today, how to say our wishes, how to accept them right, and what kind of phrases we need to use, and so on. So let's get started. First of all, Nauriz is very important, crucial celebration for Kazakhs, and it is celebrated for several days from 21st of March to 23rd, and let's say it is uh, symbolized as the beginning of a new year, because uh, during uh, now, Rus, we try to forgive all our past offenses. We try to um, leave behind all the badness which happened this year and try to bring all the renewal to the new year. So this is why we all try to celebrate this as much as we can. I mean, as as intensively as we can. Uh, in the cities, we f we construct our uh, nomadic ancient uh, houses which are called keys e keys e uh, keys this is the material uh, the house is made of and uh, there are some let's say uh, basic uh, canva constructions for um, building these houses they are settled uh, in the center of the city uh, in the villages and uh, all the guests are invited for having our traditional meals starting from Beshparmak mm -hmm. continuing with Kurdak, Baursak and Kurt and all other milk products our um, homemade butter sour cream and so on all of them are so delicious and I think any foreigner any any guests of our country should ever try this in their lives. And we have very specific, our traditional meal for Nauruz. It is called Nauruz Kujie. Nauruz Kujie. This uh, meal is prepared of seven main ingredients. And you know, all families, they have their own recipes for, for this uh, meal. And we can add whatever we want, but basically we, of course, we add water, we add some milk or yogurt, uh, we add um, various types of grains. It can be corn, it can be wheat, and also we uh, add their salt, some meat, maybe sometimes vegetables, and it, it may vary from the preferences of our families which are preparing this traditional meal. And uh, every family try to celebrate it by laying a huge table. Uh, it is called Dastarhan. In Kazakhstan, like the, the table which is laid, we call Dastarhan. Dastarhan. And when you are welcoming guests, they of course will try something on our dastarhan, especially our traditional meal. And um, uh, actually those seven ingredients of Nauruz Kojie, they symbolize um, seven main qualities or virtues. Virtues uh, like joy, success, intelligence, health, wealth, um, security and uh, agility. So all of these qualities are symbolically like uh, wished for everyone who is trying this meal. And I think this is more of a family tradition to have this and um, except like notice itself which is celebrated officially in our country we also have our specific uh, period of time we call the beginning of a new year which is called kursu kursu literally means to meet and from the 14th march um, particularly uh, western kazakhstan is mm, celebrating this uh, like the period itself yeah the kursu um, really much i mean they celebrate it um, more than other regions of kazakhstan so it's really hard for me to explain because uh, like um, 
it is more about our family things and uh, we are not sharing this information a lot with other uh, people especially maybe it can be interesting for foreigners and uh, we're not sharing this much unfortunately so here I am to try uh, something from my side and uh, also continuing talking about uh, Kursu this is the uh, the celebration of starting from 14th March and it is probably uh, lasting for months when we uh, visit our um, relatives homes we traditionally uh, come each other's home we lay the table dastarhan and have the same let's say um, pleasurable uh, time with our relatives and also we um, we give wishes, we make wishes to each other and also we wish each other all the best. So this is the, the um, period of time when we uh, actually... So historically, uh, Kazakh nation is nomadic one and uh, we were moving from one place to another by changing the geographical location. There were different kinds of tragic situations when, uh, you know, at those, those times there could be hunger, there could be uh, short, shortage of uh, water, shortage of um, different resources to feed our um, our ship and etc. So this is why I'm going to say that uh, those times Kurusu was really important because we were trying to check on each other. Uh, like uh, we're stepping in to a new year and we need to check on each other saying, hey, how are you? Are you alive? And uh, those days we use specific phrases. Zhul Kutu Bolson. Zhul Kutu Bolson which literally means happy year not new but happy year um, why because uh, happy new year we wish when this is like uh, new year itself on 23rd of december but uh, during kursu we say Bolson means like congratulations generally speaking um, and also uh, we can say amal bolson amal bolson and also we can say rasan bolson bir rasan min which literally mean uh, happy year to you like uh, you are a year older like yeah, this kind of specific phrases are used only during this period of time, during Kursu. Uh, Kursu. And uh, during Nauraz celebration, uh, we say each other the same. Nauraz Kutu Bolson. Nauraz Kutu Bolson. The same. Uh, we say each other like happy Nauraz. And how to answer those, um, those phrases? We just say Berge Bolson, Berge Bolson, which says it's like thank you, you too. Um, just like in two words, we're saying the whole thank you, you too. Berge Bolson. During this celebration, uh, I think you'll be lucky to visit our city events. Uh, they are held as a ceremony of Nauras, and uh, this is more about offering our guests different traditional meals Nauruz Koje, Baursakh, Pishparma, Khurt and so on and uh, different traditional games are played uh, and Altubakan, Hang, traditional swing uh, is also let's say uh, played by our youngsters and all of them are really sweet and it's really interesting to look at different perspectives on those uh, because I'm really proud that we still have those traditions we still have uh, these celebrations and they are officially declared and we have uh, our like uh, enough space to celebrate with our relatives with our families so this is why it is very special I don't know why it it was a little bit difficult for me to explain uh, but I really hope that it was clear uh, just maybe you just have some general idea about uh, Nauras and I really hope that uh, you'll be lucky uh, to visit Kazakhstan specifically in those Nauras dates 
actually um, because you will visit our city our villages and uh, you know families we are all hospitable and uh, uh, maybe in the city you will visit our keys e constructions you'll come and uh, have uh, some traditional meals we are offering and I don't know, play traditional games and uh, uh, see Altubakan. This is our hung traditional uh, swing. And this is all so beautiful, so interesting uh, to look at our history in retrospect and uh, like what is happening. Um, and I'm so proud that we're still having those traditions. Uh, we're keeping safe and we're trying to celebrate them year by year and uh, better and better. And I hope that our descendants will have them as well and keep them safe as our strong traditional uh, event celebration and I'd like to say uh, to you my dear followers happy upcoming Nauras Nauras Kutta Bolson see you next lesson Saubol goodbye